Now at six, the head of the Rhode Island State Police says it's one of the largest weapon seizures they've made in recent memory. It includes a dozen guns, including assault rifles, ammunition, smoke grenades, even tactical gear. Police say they found all of it and a lot more in a car they pulled over on Route 95 last week. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian just spoke to state police a short time ago. She joins us live from the mobile newsroom with what else she's learned. Kim? Well, Shannon and Steve, this suspect now faces 12 different weapons and drug-related charges. And state police tell me today they have no doubt that this bust saved lives. This is what state police found inside a North Carolina man's car after what was supposed to be a routine traffic stop. We teach our troopers there is no routine stop. State Police Colonel Anna Sumpico says it's one of the largest busts in recent memory. It started when troopers pulled over 39-year-old Anthony Mondrez Thompson last Thursday on I-95 in West Greenwich. After seeing his extensive criminal history, troopers asked him to exit the car. That's when police say Thompson shoved a trooper and ran across the highway. Troopers used a stun gun to subdue Thompson, and when they searched his car, they found all of this. I was eight high-powered uh, pistols two AR-15s and a sawed-off shotgun, along with smoke grenades, camouflage equipment, taser, uh, there's a taser in there, there was laser sights, flashlights that fit on uh, handguns. Dangerous weapons now off the streets. It's good police work. It's good old-fashioned police work. There's no doubt that saved some lives. I mean, those weapons were meant for one reason and one reason only. Police also seized about $3,400 worth of drugs from Thompson's car. Now, state police tell us that Thompson was injured as he attempted to flee from troopers. He remains hospitalized tonight and is being guarded at that hospital. He was ordered to be held without bail. Reporting live in situate with the mobile newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.